Scorpio. Da, 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 da. Told you so. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to your mid March to April reading of this current year. Ooh, spooky. Not really, because it's like spring, but it won't stop snowing or raining. For some reason. Who knows? But there are birds back, so it's going to end soon. Anyway, we are going to be doing the Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings for group one, group two. You choose which one you choose. You know how it goes. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates with you, good to go. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. I'll hit you up next time. Or maybe I'll hit you up in one of the other ones. You never know. Anyway... What was I just thinking of? Oh yeah, if you want a personal read, just hit my up in my email below and I will answer back to you probably promptly. Um, I don't want to make you guys wait too long. The most will be like two weeks only because of technicalities and the fact that I usually do these when I'm alone because I'm more comfortable like that. I just like being secretive in that way. Anywho, let's start with your reading. No whammies. Group one. Clarity. The Ace of Swords. You know something. You gain a new mind perspective. Prince of Pentacles and the Wants and Wishes. King of Wands. I haven't had music on this entire time. That's okay, though. Three of Swords in the situation. Aw. Got your heart broken? I'm sorry. Princess of Swords in the obstacles as well as the challenges coming against you. Nine of Cups reverse wash fulfillment that you know. Eh. Um, and the <laughs> beginning thing is Six of Cups reverse. Maybe some childhood stuff you're moving past or something from the past that you are moving away from. <coughs> Maybe some bad memories, but you're definitely going towards a future in some case, right? So we got the Ace of Swords. Yes. Some clarity, some idea of what to do. Possibly even the truth. Some idea of the truth. What is that idea? Yay. Yay. Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius, Aries' is card. Most likely Sagittarius, because I'm Sagittarius rising, and I like saying that's my card, because I'm still a fucking queen. Anyway. <laughs> um, Ace of Swords. You have some idea about this uh, Queen of Wands. Like, I think you see her as her true self. Not really benevolent. She's very fair. Um, she likes to look good. She wants to get her way, and as long as she gets it, she's a fair ruler. But when she doesn't get it, that's when her temper flares. But right now, she's cool. Right? But then there's this Three of Swords, this heartbreak that you're trying to get over, possibly, that's stagnating with the burden. Ten of Wands, reverse. Then we have the Prince of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, who's coming in with an offer, slowly but surely. And they are charging ahead to get it, too. All in their emotions and such. But in a good way, with the Chariot. This is a Cancer's card. So you could also be dealing with a cancer too. I think they're very, they, they're coming. They're coming. They're just slow with it. Like they're definitely charging ahead. They're definitely gearing up, ready to go. They gain their balance. It's just, they're taking forever. They're taking forever. And you're getting bored. <laughs> just a little bit, probably. That's what I feel like. I feel like if I, if I had to wait forever, I'd just get bored and get done with it. I'd be like, uh, I don't even care anymore. Um, what is going against you? Uh, group one is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Princess of Swords, who's looking for information in order to get in to come out from the cold. Or because they're out in the cold the five of pentacles i think they feel left out a little bit this air sign person like someone's snooping because they got left out they want to be like they're hanging out underneath of the window to try to figure out what everyone's doing inside just being in little nib nose being like, what are you doing in there? No, I don't want to come back in, but I just want to see what you're doing. 
so I can talk about it and say how I don't care over and over again just to make sure that you can hear how much I don't care like you know like one of those things right I, I, like kind of like that it's just kind of like why are you listening why are you here you left <laughs> like almost like one of those things right then we have this king of wands here he, the ruler uh once again Leo Sagittarius Aries most likely Leo because I like saying Leo is king right definitely try to stand in his power stand in his ruling but there might be some missed opportunities that he has or missed opportunities with him with the four of cups you think about this person, this fire sign, and it's just kind of like, man. But you're not looking up at the one cup that's possibly an answer. Not a guaranteed one, but it's definitely coming down with clarity. Almost like the Ace of Swords would in the, in the Rider weight deck. How it comes down on the clouds. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is the finale as well as the catalyst. The beginning and the end to this event, right? Someone got their wish and now they don't like it. Like, it, it doesn't, it, they smile but it still doesn't satisfy them. I guess it was what they thought would actually make them happy. In reality, they only have nine cups. They're still missing that tenth, which happens to be coming down from the heavens for them. Okay, this is not as bad as freaking Libra's. Libra's was insane. Libra is dealing with, I, I don't know who that person in Libra's was, but they just had me like, there's something, there was something behind that devil, like, there, like that, that, like, this Capricorn card, but the vibration was just wrong, completely, but this is like, someone got their wish of only having nine cups, and in reality, like, they really want the ten. They're like, well, I, I really didn't want this. You know, this isn't what I wanted. This is what I want. And here is the heavens coming down with that cup being like, hey, is this it? Is this the cup you're missing? And, and it's like clarity. It's like you realize. It's almost like someone realizes that, like, they're in love with somebody and they can't get over it. I feel like you should get to them personally. Yeah. And the wheel is turning. Look at that. Ew. Look at this. The wheel is turning and moving forward from the past to the future. The, fu the past has influenced the future. But you're moving on forward with it. So that's kind of a good vibration. Look at, let's see what these advice cards say for you. Creep one. First advice card. What to do to my carpet, boy? Hmm? Oh, uh, no, new, no news is better than bad news, I guess. <laughs> like, I, 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 I think all you're going to get is some lip. I think that's all that's going to... I, th I think someone wants to talk some lip about what happened back in the day. Maybe that's why somebody left is snooping a little bit. What is the second advice card? Oh my goodness. Like, um, someone wants to end things somehow. Or they want the ending to come. Either with this feeling like... With, like either feeling like this offer is taking too long. Or that they actually want to come back in instead of being a nib nose. <laughs> What's the final advice card? Aw, commitment of sorts. The Hierophant. Someone's definitely um looking to authority, I think, about what to do. I think someone is looking, trying to find someone with maybe some information to help them and guide them to this. This also talks about commitment, family, and whatnot. I feel like this is warmly endearing, like, like someone doesn't know what, it, 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 like, it, it, it's like over here, this, this like fear and such, which is like, thoughts on this king of wands, like the one cup that's in the air that they aren't looking at, I almost feel like is the ace of swords, because it also, in Rider Waite, comes from the sky. And it's just like, hey, is this cup this? And it's like a clarity moment. It's just like you're thinking of this person. And it's like, oh, dude. 
Do you realize, like, you missed them? Because that's, like, really cute. Okay, we need to go to group two. See what they say. Because who knows? Maybe they'll just be like, they're fucking trash. And, you know, all that stuff, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, like, early. So, ah, look at that. That could be a reason as well. But we don't know yet. We're just being a sumptuous asshole. Right? Right. This is just easier than doing it the other way. Because my fingers are... I have very small hands. Playing guitar with small hands kind of sucks, too. I kind of wish I had my husband's hands. Because he has big fingers. But, yeah, it's whatever. Ooh. Uh, no offers of love or apologies or just trying to start something new on your side already. You haven't even let me start yet and you're already telling me. Mm. At least let me get my voice out there before you pass such hostile judgments upon me. I know, that was like really dramatic. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll start with you. No communication, the star reverse. Someone being arrogant, someone not really wanting to work on things. No whammies. Um, options, possibly even trying to, emo feeling emotionally confused, but trying to connect with some creativity of some sorts. In your wants and wishes. Five of cups in your fears and rejections. The devil reverse in the situation. The Princess of Wands and the Obstacles and what's coming against you, which is reverse. So it's like the one from like Group Ones who's just kind of like, I ain't, say, I ain't got nothing nice to say about you. But the beginning and the end is the Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands reverse. <laughs> Um, no victory found in this. Feeling like you got an enemy in your house almost. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but it's like, I, I almost feel like two people, like, really want to be together, but they're too busy being mad at each other for some shit. You know? Yeah, but like, Star Wars, right? You don't want to communicate. Oh, very little story. I'll take the first one. You don't want to communicate because your heart's broken. Three of Swords. Upright for you as well. It, and all doesn't go with this. So something different. Then we got the devil down here. Sometimes it tells me shit that I should know. Just in case. Not for y'all, but for myself. Alright, so... Someone doesn't want to communicate because their heart was broken, right? And the situation is they're, they're trying to come out of this really bad vibration. This really bad, like, casting out of, like, negative stuff. Possibly by a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, or maybe they're just trying to get to their senses again. Scorpio, this could be you trying to rid yourself of all the bad things that have been involved, really. You're trying to get out of that element, for sure. Then we have the Seven of Cups, right? Which is in the hopes, wishes, wants. And you might be slightly confused, or this person is slightly confused. But they're trying to get into their creative points. Maybe they're trying to create something that will be impressive. They're trying to see what options they really have so they can move on with it with the chariot possibly cancer in this as well then ooh, we have the obstacles and challenges what's going against you what's going against you is a fire sign possibly the one group ones right leo sagittarius aries and that fire sign has a lot of shit to say but I feel like they're not wrong. Hierophant. Taurus energy, right? 
It's like, here's the King Cups over here. He's trying to come back even though he knows he might have done something shady. And the Hyphens over here like, oh, hold on. 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 Like, literally. That's what it looks like right here. It's like, he's he's trying to say so. He's just like, well, hold, you hold your mouth. I have some shit to talk to you about, you know? Like, I feel like you keep dealing with somebody who will not let shit go. Not even that they're done. It's just they won't let it go because they haven't processed it yet. Okay. And then the next card is the Five of Cups. Fears and rejections, right? That somebody knocked your cups over. You knocked your own cups over. It's hard for you to regret it. And you're still probably mulling over it. Even though there might be something you haven't thought of yet. Like, you're, you got these three cups that were knocked over. And you just got them sat there looking at it like, uh... And then, like, this guy just lands you a fourth cup, like, here, take this. Maybe this will help you. And you're just like, but these cups are knocked over. Does that just fix these cups, you know? Then we got the three of pentacles. Ooh, okay. Where someone's trying to get their balance. Someone's trying to balance themselves on these pentacles. But they're not opening up about it. They're not saying anything about it. They're not trying to talk about how they're getting their balance. They're not talking about wanting to work things out, if that's the case. They're not trying to exercise any sort of, like, actual communication to um, help create or establish anything. Or, but, like, they would, but they aren't saying it. So it's just like, what the fuck, you know? And then the ending theme in all of this is there is completion. This is the end of a cycle. This is... Everything coming together the way it is meant to be with the world. And, yeah, like, there's still no victory here. <laughs> like, just cut it loose, man. Like, this is as good as it's gonna get. Contrasts. Right? Yeah, someone really needs to connect with their own emotions and, like, try to think. With more control on them. Like, this is definitely a couple, but I feel like they're still the same person. Like, they're trying to come out of this bad vibration, and they're trying to look at their own selves and be like, hmm. And, yeah, you're getting the end, too. There's nothing going in or coming out. It's the last device. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Out of control. Lack of control. Whatever you want to call it. But it's out of your hands. That's why there's no victory. I'm sorry. That really sucks. Well, that was the reading for you, Scorpios. And people who deal with Scorpios. But I hope you guys have a good one. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.